you got to go, man. Never wait on the right time because the right time ain't ever coming. You have to go. See, when you have these ideas of greatness, you got to go forward because it's not going to be a right time. Just go. Jump. Take a chance. If you ever plan it on soaring, you're going to have to jump. But if you don't do it now, when you going to do it? Do you know how much time you have left? Do it now. Take action now. Because you only got eight years of life, by the way, just so you know. Average person lives 78. You spend 28 of those years sleeping. You spend another three or four shopping, traffic, add it up, you get eight years. And you're not a newborn, so you got less than that. You don't need to know a little more. You need to execute a little more. You need to make some mistakes. Quit trying to be perfect. The best people I know in business, they take action when they don't know everything. You need to embrace the mess. Embrace the chaos. You're never going to know everything you think you need to know. You take action. The Lord has a way. When you step into a new space of revealing to you the people, places, resources, and things you need in that space, and you go from there, and you go to the next one. Listen, it's your time. Seize the moment. If you put everything off until you're sure of it, you'll never get anything done. What you have and who you are is enough. Live like a warrior. And warriors are always in fight mode. You've got to fight to put all your efforts and energy into things that's productive and purposeful. See, it doesn't take any motivation to put things off. If you put everything off till everything get right, oh, when I get all my ducks lined up, is that right? What if it's not duck season? Do what you're going to do and do it now. Defer no time. Delays have dangerous ends. You think about that. If you focus on living where you can do more, that you can achieve more, the possibilities are unlimited. When you don't have enough courage to do what it is that you've been sent here to do, Life moves on you. You were chosen to do the greater work. That's why you're still breathing. People that are hungry, they're persistent. As long as they got a pulse, they keep coming back. They, they might bend, but they won't break. I asked myself, if I died now, what would I be upset about? Some dream that I had that I put off that I didn't get done. You're still here. You're still breathing. You still got a pulse. You're not a loser. You're a winner. You were born to win. You came here winning. Oh, I'm depressed right now. No, you don't have the luxury of being depressed. Keep it moving. You got eight years left. Here's how you manipulate that time. Who says a day is 24 hours? A day can be eight hours, by the way. I started it 10 years ago. I run eight hour days. People that are successful are in a bigger hurry. You don't need to be loud and intense like me, but you gotta move, think, and walk and talk faster. Speed matters. You can do it however the heck you want. But my first day, I run three mini days. They're actually each six hours. My first day is from 6 a.m. to noon. That's a day. So many years ago I went, my day is 6 a.m. to noon. I'm trying to run a whole day schedule of calls, appointments, contacts, meetings, emails, whatever it is, from 6 a.m. to noon. Day two starts from noon to 6. My third day is from 6 p.m. until midnight. I get three days a day. I calibrate time that way. I look at time that way. I execute that way. I crush you. In today's world, with the speed of internet, contacts, and you're going to compete against someone like me, you better start running many days. You need to really start to calibrate time the way I just told you. And so if some of you are going to be at your job for the first two days, you got a brand new day when you leave there and you're 6 p.m. to noon. If you're going to be a real entrepreneur, you bend time. It's a little psycho, but it's what I have. If you really want to win, you really want to be very wealthy, because here's what I get. By the time you've run two days, I've had six. Now stack up a month. Stack up 10 years. That's the difference. Knowledge equals execution and speed. We are living in a generation of the dumbing down of ideas. We have traded effectiveness for busyness.
We are busier than any other generation we have seen in the last three to four hundred years. And we think because we're busy, we're effective. Ask yourself, are you really being effective or is your life cluttered with all kinds of stuff that demands you and drains you and stops you from being your highest and best self? And are you substituting busyness from being effective? Let me tell you, a bunch of scientists got together and they began to do some research that the average person only spends 20% of their time doing the thing that they are really passionate about, excited to do, and the rest of it is all the dismal, dumb stuff that we all have to do in order to survive. Wonder what would happen if we would switch those numbers around and only give 20% of our time to the things that we have to do and 80% of our time to the thing that we were created to do. Think about it a minute. I, there's a lot of things you could take from me and I could make it. You could take my suit. I got another one. You could take my house, I could get another house. But when you take my time, you have taken something from me that is totally irreplaceable. Time is more valuable than money. You can get more money, but unfortunately you can't get more time. I wouldn't waste one of my days, not for anybody, not for anything. Once I understood how valuable they were, I don't waste any. We, we know how to manage our money, we know how to repair our houses, we do everything except the most important thing is to value our time. It takes time to be creative. If you had time, you would be creative. But in the absence of time and with busyness and clutter, it's taking you away from what you are gifted and creative to do. We have an opportunity to learn how to maximize our lives. And think of yourself as a precious commodity that you are going to reserve your energy for your highest and best use. If you are doing anything that somebody else in your life could do, you are not reserving yourself for your highest and best use. You're missing your life, your purpose, your excitement, your enthusiasm. Understand that every moment is a gift, every second is a gift, every opportunity is a gift, everybody you meet is a gift. Begin to maximize what you've got. You gotta rise up. You gotta make your dreams a reality and live a damn masterpiece. You gotta make a decision. What's the decision? What's the thing you came here for? The clock is ticking. When I die, let everybody know, life don't owe me any change. Most of us take our talents, our abilities, our skills to the graveyard. Rob the cemetery of your ideas. How to go from where you are to where you want to go. How to go from pennies to treasure. Be like a sponge. Don't miss anything. Most people are just trying to get through the day. Here's what I want you to be committed to do. Learn to get from the day. What a difference that'll make in your future. Commit yourself to learning. Commit yourself to absorbing. Don't be casual in getting it. Casualness leads to casualties. <laughs>